Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at creating our standard.idw, our drawing, for our part one jam. We actually are going to take and place all four views, a front view, a top view, a right side view, and a pictorial isometric view on our drawing. And this one we are going to fully dimension as well. So you might want to have the PDF open so you can match some of the dimensions to it as well. Once we start dimensioning, I'll go a little bit faster, and then I'll slow down when we get to the chamfers and our hole identification. Okay, to begin, we're going to go File. To begin, we're going to start in our ribbon bar. We're going to go up to New in our ribbon and we're going to select this icon right here, standard.idw, and click Create. Now this part opens up, and it starts out as a D size sheet, and that's a little big for what we're doing. So we're going to come over here to our model browser, where you see Sheet 1. You're going to right-click on that, and you're going to select Edit Sheet. You may have to change your tool from the pointer tool to the mouse tool if you're on your iPad. Once our edit sheet menu opens up, we're going to change the size from D to a B size sheet, and then click OK. Next, we're going to place our part in there. So we're going to go to our base view, and we're going to select this folder right here that is a magnifying glass in a folder to browse and open an existing file. It should automatically link to your H drive, first initial last name 000, and we're going to select our one jam part and click open. Click OK. Now we're going to take our cursor and we're going to bring it up to our part and when we get the red dotty line that goes around our part, we're going to click and push this part over to the left hand side kind of position it right there, still above the title block. Next, we're going to come up to Projected in our ribbon bar. Next to Base, we're going to go to Projected. And mine automatically locks on with this part. However, if yours does not, when you click Projected, bring your cursor to the middle of your part, click, and it should automatically identify that part and give us the projected views. We're going to click and place the top view. We're going to click and place a right side view. And up in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click and place that pictorial asymmetric view. When you're finished, once again, you might have to use your cursor, drop your pointer tool, and get your mouse tool for this if you're on your iPad. We're going to right click and select Create. Now we're going to change from Place Views tab above our room bar to Annotate tab. And here, we're going to take and we're going to match the dimensions that are on our PDF drawing. So to start off, I'm going to dimension from the top view of our part in order to show our depth of those pockets that we made. Then on our front view, we're going to dimension and we're going to match the dimensions that are on the PDF that give us all our critical dimensions in order to draw this part. This is locating the center of the holes. You can pause at any time in order to get caught up. I'm just matching the dimensions that are on the PDF drawing. See how that 0.5 goes over the top to the wrong side? If that happens to you, press Escape, Dimension. That's because we selected the inside first, so it's always going to put the numbers on the side that you click first when you bring that dimension up. Did you see how that flipped around now? We also need the overall height. This here. We're going to give us the overall thickness right here. And we need the overall length 
from the right hand side of our part to the left hand side of our part. There we go, not too bad. Now to come in here and establish our chamfer and our hole specification. Our holes are kind of easy. We can come up here and click our hole tool and thread. Select one of the holes, bring that leader down. Press the escape key. If you want to change this, it's fine if you leave it this way. But the way I got it to read six holes is I click clicked on that. I placed my cursor on the edit text box and I just typed six holes and selected OK. And that puts that little definition in there. I also, for my chamfer, I'm going to go next to holes and threads. I'm going to select my chamfer tool. I'm going to click the chamfer edge. I'm going to click the bottom of my part. I'm going to bring this dimension out. Press the escape tool. In order to get this text to flip on the other side, you can just take your text. Flip it around like that. Press the escape key when you're done. I'm zooming out. I clicked magnifying glass piece of paper on the right hand side in our model browser over here, our view. And I'm going to take and I'm done. I'm ready to save. So let's go up to the top. We're going to click orange file from the top left hand side of our screen. We're going to go down to save as. We want this to go into our H drive. First initial last name, 000. One jam. I'm going to type my last name after this. Okay, you're going to type your last name there and click Save. The next thing we need to do is we need to get this into a format where we can save it as a PDF and put it into Google Classroom. In order to do that, we're going to go up to the orange file in the top left corner of our screen. We're going to go down to export and select PDF. Once again, we're going right to our H drive, first initial last name 000. Our file name is the same, part and last name. And we're going to click save. That PDF, you also are going to turn in to Google Classroom. The directions are on the videos that are above these directions. Great job on finishing this part. Hope to see you soon.